What's poppin' attack squad? It's your boy Sad Attack. Well, no, y'all see a title. Oh, we on this side. We're back over here. But y'all see a title, man. We're gonna take out six most disturbing forest encounters caught on camera, bro. Hey, forest encounters. What we, hey, what we, what we about to dig into? Some animal? Some weird noises? What, what we about to do, man? But I would never fucking go camping in the forest and this and that, bro. Hey, that's not me, bro. I'm a, I'm a little boring. Line. I'm gonna stay at the crib. You feel me? Uh, do my thing. You feel me? Go to a sports event, you feel me? Like, I'm not doing none of that freaking skydiving, freaking forest, what, fucking camping, none of that shit, man. That shit is not for me, bro. That shit is not for me, man. I'm cool living this type of life. But, hey, six no disturbing. Let's check, let's check this out, man. You gotta at least have, like, a, you know, pop, pop, pop with you, feel me? Oh, my God. Why are we in the... Oh, shit. Someone about to pop up. Don't give me a jump scare, bro. Do not start this shit off with a jump scare, bro. Fucking hate this shit. Do not jump out at the fucking... Like, what is this, bro? In April of 2020, okay. a kid named Noah decided to go truck camping Woo! in the forests of Sun River, Oregon. He was driving down the road when he thought he found a good spot and drove deep into the forest with his truck. His first night there, he was woken up to sounds outside. As he continued listening, he realized they were footprints, and from the pattern, assumed it was a person. But no, it was he an animal. He his nearby GoPro and started filming. It's an animal. It's an animal. It's an animal. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my shut truck up. right now. I don't even know what time it is. Hey, shut up, bro. There's someone next to you, bro. Relax. Shut up. It's not the time to fucking vlog. And there's someone walking around my truck. Oh yeah, you're not right here. You guys whispering. Bro, 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 what the fuck? Why am I watching this? He's been walking around for like 20 minutes already. It's not a fucking person. I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. And it's like pitch black outside. And like, this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you can see no one was Why the fuck are you out there by yourself, bro? Like, did, 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 did he say why he was out there by himself? But no, bro. You got me. But, yeah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. How am I supposed to get away? He's literally, he's literally walking. Oh shit! But no, at least he didn't break in. So I'm assuming you don't got no weapons or nothing. Hey, I'm, I, I'm jump scaring the fuck out of him. I'm gonna be sleeping. Bye, bitch. <laughs> hey, something's gonna happen, bro. Hey, so I'm about to scare the shit out of him. The canopy, the back door's on right now, but I'm scared of forever. I don't think he knows that there's anyone in here. I'm so scared right now. Alright, get to a fucking action, bro. I'm trying to get this fucking video over with. The door right now. Whoever was out there knocks on the truck and tries the door handles. All while Noah sits inside, forced to just listen to it happen. Fortunately, he had his doors locked, so no one could get inside. W After multiple w minutes, footsteps are finally heard leaving. W when it got light outside, Noah drove back to the road and back home. Later that morning, he found handprints all over his trunk, specifically on his back window from someone trying. Oh, that's that that type of truck. Oh, then you could then you could have slept through it. I thought it was like a two seat light. Ah, okay. See inside, and a lot on his door handles from someone trying to get inside. Um. Handprints there, but wash no. scratches, stuff like that. Um, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck. Uh, well, looks like to be trying to get inside my truck. Yeah, um, W30 truck. That's really all I could tell from when he was walking around. More handprints trying to get in my truck. Um, at least the back canopy was locked, but um, yeah. That was the result, so. For someone to even have been out there in the first place at that time of night is extremely odd. That and is. It couldn't have been a police officer or anything because no one identified themselves. That is. The person didn't even have a light, and this was in the middle of a pitch black forest. No one ever posted an update on the situation, suggesting that he never found out who was outside his truck that night. That's wild. Kyle Burgess was on an early morning jog oh, on a trail in Provo, Utah. Yeah, we he thought he saw a baby bobcat on the trail up ahead of him. 
He immediately pulled down his phone and started recording. But it wasn't a bobcat. Rather, it was a baby cougar. The video then shows the oh. mother cougar coming into view. Oh no, I, I didn't see this. I did not see it. Gotta see this motherfucker. Oh shit, we got another problem. <laughs> but yeah. Oh shit, that shit moving. That shit moving. You, 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 you. This, this is not the one. Listen, we seen the one where. Ah, ah, ah. I forgot what the animals call. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. that man. So you gotta have a weapon on you. So you gotta have a weapon on you. Oh, that motherfucker's no. close. Get the f away. Yeah, that shit is close. Get the f away. Yeah, pick up a rock. No. That's what I seen no. in the last video. No. no. Yeah, pick up the no. pick up a rock. Go Throw away. that shit at it. Go away, please. Throw go rock away. at it. Oh. Dome that shit in the head. Oh. What if you keep walking like this and you run into another animal behind you, bro? That shit would be crazy. I would Come think on. it. I'm ah. Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady, that shit. You open that mouth one more time, you're swallowing this shit. Stop. No. Kyle is left in a standoff with the cougar as he slowly backs away, trying to scare it off with loud noises. But the cougar continues to follow him and at times even lunges at him. At one point, Kyle turns his head away from the animal so as not to trip as he's backing up. This prompts the cougar to try and attack, getting within only feet of him. Go away! Oh, that shit close. Oh! Boy, no. oh, that shit hella close, bro. Can't attack you, guys look away from you. Maybe this is the video I should not. No, go away! Throw something. Go away! Pick it up! Oh, no. shit. Maybe this is the video I see. Oh, this is, this is the video I see. I just forgot how it no. started. Oh, hell no. Nah. I think this is the dude that picks up the rock. Yeah, get away. See? This, this, I've seen this video, okay. There was another one like this, but. The encounter lasts for an entire oh, six minutes. Six minutes. Imagine walking back for six minutes and looking at that food. Bro, hell no, I would have picked up that rock a while ago. It ends when Kyle throws a large rock, scaring the animal into running away. I would have dinked it again. It ends I would have. I would have. Boom! Boom! Throws a large rock, oh, scaring bah. the animal into running away. I don't make sure I hit it. Cougar encounters with hikers are extremely dangerous and can often result in a much worse outcome. Had Kyle tried to run or failed to look and sound intimidating, the animal's instincts to chase and commit to an attack would have kicked in. Oh, Shawn Michaels, sweet chain music. Beat. Oh, hit him with the RKO. 2013, a few residents of a neighborhood in northern Oregon filed reports of strange noises coming from the forest. Ah. The Don't noises go. were described as what sounded like eerie laughter. It was loud and echoed throughout the nearby area. Why y'all checking it out? One of the residents that heard the sounds went outside to where they seemed to be coming from and started recording. Oh, why y'all checking this out, bro? This is some horror shit, man. Like, y'all just following the noise, but hey, cut, cut. Hey, I hear some, uh, some weird shit over there. Hey, that's their job, man. That's their job. Hey. What the fuck is he doing, man? Like, why are we in best game, bro? We don't get paid for this. That's weird, though. What the fuck is that? Nah, man. What y'all doing, bro? What the God damn, fucking 180p? What the hell is this? You see that man get snapped up? <laughs> ah, that is weird. Some think the noises are being made by foxes or coyotes, but others don't think so. Saying coyotes, for example, have a much more canine like shriek and aren't nearly as loud. I couldn't tell you. It's still unclear what exactly was making the Whatever noise. Whatever it was, that it, I'm not checking it out. Lisa is a girl who owns a YouTube channel where she documents her life living in a van. She travels across North America, recording her experience as she goes. I love you. The videos almost always follow more of a vlog style, showing w. the different forests or places she stays at overnight, or the Not journeys forest. to get there. However, in February of 2022, something different was uploaded. Lisa was sleeping in her van, when she woke up to the sound of knocking right next to her ear. It 
was 4.30 in the morning and someone was outside. She sat there frozen, not knowing what to do. The knock then came again, and this time she uttered out a confused hello. There was no response. Oh fuck no, you be quiet like the other dude there. But then again, if you stay quiet, they might think that shit free and they're gonna break the glass. Like, you don't know what anyone's intentions are, so... I don't know what I would do in that situation, but I ain't even gonna lie. Would y'all say hello? Or would y'all just ignore it? Because if they ignore it, they're gonna think it's an abandoned. You know, try hot, hot wire that shit or something, but it would be completely silent for the next 15 minutes. Eventually, she heard footsteps coming back, and this time grabbed her camera to record. Somebody's back here again. Well, what are you? I hear footprints. Hello? How can I help you? But it's. What? Buddy got a question. It's 4.30 in the morning. I don't feel safe. Who are you? There was no response. She quietly got up and went to the front of her van to look outside. No! In the distance, there were headlights. Oh, fuck. The car backs away, and so she turns the camera to herself and begins explaining. Uh, bro, I'm booking it! just happened. What the fuck did you explain it for? Explain it in the morning. Explain it in, like, in a different location. God damn, fuck. Hey, I got retainers if I'm talking funny, but like, yo, what? I'm not just seeing the same spot. Hey, yo, hey, this shit is crazy that happened, bro. You in the front seat, hey, scratch, scratch, bop, I'm out. Are like, you doing me like, nah, A few minutes man. into this, and she hears footsteps again. Why the fuck would you not move, bro? Like, what are you doing? Like, no one, like. I hear footprints. Why the fuck, he gave you a chance to move, bro. Like. You got to a front seat. Where the fuck is your keys? Just fucking leave, man. Now, what did you just stand and sit in the same spot for, bro? Yeah, piss me off, bro. You that? Yeah, somebody was just here again three times now. The third time I looked out, they were walking on foot. Why the fuck you not leaving? I've seen them walking and they hid behind. You're pissing me off, bro. Tree there, and then they went to um, a car, the same car that was here earlier. Well, that was back, and then it backed away and left again three times in one night. This time, so the way uh, but they didn't knock though, they were just walking around. I could hear them walking around the van. When it got light outside later that morning, she got out of her van and found footprints oh, all damn, around it. So I come out this That's morning, big and as you hell. Can see footprints. Look at this one. This is mine. I'll show you. There's mine. Oh, never mind. See? Yeah. They were actually... There's some more. Look at that. They came here. They were standing here. As you can see. A lot of viewers believe the man was simply trying to steal valuables from the van. But why then come back two more times after you heard someone talking from inside? Hopefully you not leave. It's likely the man had worse intentions. This video was taken by a mountain biker in Vancouver, Canada. He had set up his phone camera to get a shot of him riding down a part of the mountain. Just as he comes down and passes the camera, he suddenly hits the brakes and starts calling out. He then comes back into frame, walking back up the mountain with his bike. As he does so, he keeps looking back behind him. Walking his path was a bear, who was now following him. Fuck me. I love you not picking up the camera, you feel me? Eventually, he picked up it. He, he recorded this. He uploaded this. But your belongings do not matter in that situation, bro. Hey, just get out that bit alive. Hey, 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 hey. Don't worry about the camera. I wouldn't even worry about my bike to be real with you. I'd be like, I wouldn't even care about my bike at that point either. Hey. Hey! 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 Oh shit! Oh shit! You see that bear was right there? Oh, fucking bear, bro! Like, why the fuck you knock the camera down, bro? Like, you didn't see that shit, bro? Like, goddamn! The kid uses his bike to make himself look bigger. 
he hits it on the ground a few times, this causing the bear to retreat back to nice. the camera where it knocks it over. Maybe I would have kept my The bear then stands me. over the camera for a while longer. Finally, it retreats completely, allowing the kid to retrieve his phone and get back to safety. That's your phone? Damn, that's tough. Oh, so you do need your on phone. On September though. 6, 2016, a Reddit post was made linking to a video that oh. claimed to feature a weird noise from the woods. Included was text that read, I put the kids to bed tonight and oh, heard this loud, dark really shit, bizarre bro. sound coming from the woods outside my house. It lasted about 15 to 20 That's minutes. That's the last one. We have a handful of neighbors nearby, but this was too loud to be coming from them. It seemed to be coming from the direction of a nearby AM radio tower. But can those towers make noises like this? I googled around but couldn't find anything similar. This is the video. Nah. Nah. I'm moving. Nope. Fuck no. If they don't tell me what that noise is by the, by the next morning, I'm moving, bro. Commenters immediately started speculating what the sound could have been. One of them suggested it could have been the sound of high winds passing through a nearby cell tower, the okay. metal on metal being what created the eerie tone. Okay. But the poster replied saying there was almost no wind that night, and even on days when it was windy, he never heard this sound. Another said the sound was extremely consistent with what it sounds like to drill into a strut or support that's made of high carbon steel, but said that it would be weird to be doing this that late into the night. To this day, it's still unknown what the sound in the video actually is. Thank God, bro. I don't know why I even started reacting to that shit, bro. I do not like scary shit at all. It's been a few months since watching Chinese, but this content is always that it is, bro. This shit, I'm, well. The car one was creepy, but the cougar and the bear one were really scary. And a, bro, as a person watching, those shit scary in that situation, but the fucking creepy ones were the motherfuckers and the car. One of the, one of the greatest shit. Why did she just leave is my question. Someone please tell me why the fuck she didn't leave. I didn't do it for that fan drunk that scrap that road two could drunk fan. God damn, it's big as hell. Why am I so big? Pause. Should have been like smaller, like right there. I didn't do it for that fan drunk that scrap that road two could drunk fan. We're still going to dump, but we out here, man.